Welcome to Top 5, where we count down all kinds of things. I'm your host, Aya Zaktar. There's news about space these days, like finding evidence of flowing water on Mars. Of course, that should make some of us start thinking about aliens. So let's scare ourselves about the potential threat of extraterrestrial life, shall we? Today, we're counting down the top five horrifying aliens in movies. At number five, the bluff. Now, why on earth would you be afraid of what appears to be a moving mass of gelatin? Because it'll assimilate you while continuing along its merry way. That's why. The 1958 classics effects look a tad dated. The 1988 remake has a superior monster when it comes to looks, but spoiler, it dropped the alien origin. However, no matter the execution, the concept of the shapeless, unrelenting blob is unsettling. At number four, the aliens in signs. Now, why are they horrifying? The bulk of the movie doesn't show the aliens. Instead, we get mostly noises and silhouettes. Okay, so what's freaky about them? The introduction of the aliens is built up really well in the movie. So much tension and then boom, an alien walking by in a birthday party. They fit the good old standard alien look with the green skin, the big black eyes. There aren't a lot of great clear shots of the aliens as well. So maybe much of the scare comes from our imaginations. And that's not such a bad thing. At number three, Predator. The Thing is a warrior from another planet who hunts for sport. In some respects, Predator's a bit like a horror movie villain, complete with the signature weapons and mask. However, behind that mask is a snarling beast. Here's some trivia about the filming of Predator. Jean-Claude Van Damme was originally cast to play the beast, but he didn't seem large enough to counter the film's stars. The seven foot two inch Kevin Peter Hall was cast instead. The design was by Stan Winston. He handles special effects for Jurassic Park, Iron Man, and the Terminator series. At number two, The Thing from The Thing. The alien threat in The Thing doesn't have a distinct look. When you think it's dead, it's not dead. It absorbs living things and mimics them. With that mimicry, it creates a huge distrust. If you're trying to fight The Thing, you don't know who's been compromised. A single particle of The Thing can mean a person is a host for The Thing. The special effects in the 1988 version of the film are Incredibly disgusting. Just disgusting. Your memory bank might use that imagery to torture you in a future nightmare. Before we get to number one, let's talk about some aliens that I think could have made it on this list but didn't. That's right, I'm talking about the aliens in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. They were horrifying for all the wrong reasons. Mainly, there shouldn't be aliens in an Indiana Jones movie. However, cooler heads prevailed and these aliens only get a dishonorable mention. On to number one. And at number one, the Xenomorph from Alien. Do I really have to explain why this thing is the most horrifying alien in a movie? Oh right, that's my job. First up, this alien design is from 1979 and it still appears terrifying just on looks alone. The design is by H.R. Geiger and eyes were intentionally left out to create fear since you couldn't tell where it was looking. Then there's the story of the alien movies. These things use other animals to procreate. When the spawn of one of these things is ready, boom, it comes bursting out of the host. And there you have it, the top five horrifying aliens in movies. Let me know what you think in the comments or on Twitter. If you think E.T. should have been on this list, I'm at Ayaz. For more top fives like this, visit top5.cnet.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.